Hello again, and welcome to the next video in the Wild for Woodpecker series. In our first video, we learned a little bit about woodpeckers that can be found in the weasel head. In this one, we're going to learn all about how to identify these different woodpeckers. While looking to identify these species, you'll rely mostly on their colors, patterning, and size. It is important to note that the males and females of the species in this video have different coloring. The downy woodpecker is about the size of a sparrow. They are black and white, and only the males have a red crest. Their bill is about one-third the length of their heads. The hairy woodpecker looks remarkably like the downy woodpecker, right? But they are noticeably larger, about the size of a robin, and their beak is almost the same length as their head. Similar to the downy woodpecker, only the males of this species have a red crest. There are more subtle differences in their patterning, which you can learn to pick out with some practice too. The common flicker. There are two different forms, but both morphs are considered one species. The red shafted and the yellow shafted morphs can both be found in the weasel head, though the red shafted is much more common. They have brown backs with black barring and a lighter brown breast with black spots. When they take flight, look for the bright highlights of red or yellow on the underside of their flight and tail feathers. Yellow shafted flickers also have a red crescent on the back of their neck, the nape, while red shafted flickers usually don't. But adult males do have red coloring to the side of their beak, their whiskers. yellow-bellied sapsucker. Not only does their name sound like an epic Shakespearean insult, but they're also bold-looking birds. They are black and white with bright red foreheads and a long white stripe along the wings. They have bold black and white stripes on their face which curve toward their chest and have white or yellowish bellies. The males also have red throats. The holes they chip out of the tree trunks look quite a bit different from other woodpeckers. Sapsuckers drill organized looking rows of shallow holes. Sap from the cambium then floods the hole and traps insects. They can then lap up the drowned insects with their tongues along with the sap. And then we have the largest, the pileated woodpecker, are about the size of a small crow. They have mostly black bodies with white and black stripes on the face that continue down their neck. They can be easily recognized by the large red pointed crest on the top of their head. Males also have a red cheek stripe. Lastly, they have a really long tongue that meets with a bone at the base of their beak. That bone then splits into two and wraps around on the top of their skull, meeting back up with the top of their beak. It kind of acts like a seatbelt for the brain, but we'll learn more about that in the next video. Some of the rare species we have include the American three-toed woodpecker and the black-backed woodpecker. Check out our social media, our website, and our YouTube channel for more videos, booking a program, and finding out what upcoming events we have. Next in the series about woodpeckers, we're going to learn about the fascinating adaptations that the pileated woodpeckers have in order to avoid getting concussions from hammering their beak repeatedly into trees as they dig for insects. And we'll find out how their tongues can help protect their brain from impacts too. Thank you for watching and enjoy your bird watching at the weasel head, respectfully and responsibly.